All right, hi everyone. I'm Mike Beamer. I'm a product manager at Dynatrace and an open feature maintainer. And today I'm excited to tell you about client side feature flagging with open feature. Let's see, hopefully. There we go. All right, so, uh, sorry about that, technical issues. All right, uh, before we dive into the technical details of the presentation, I just like to do a quick uh, level set on what a feature flag is and why we're uh, why they're basically essential to modern software development practices. Um, so a feature flag is a technique that allows you to control a pivot point in your application at runtime. Uh, they do not require the code to be changed or a service to be redeployed or restarted in order for the value to change. Uh, feature flags allow you to decouple feature releases from deployments and they allow teams to coordinate feature releases on their schedule. Uh, progressively enabling a feature flag allows you to reduce, reduce risk uh, by tightly controlling the impact radius. Um, they also allow you to quickly abort uh, a failed deployment um, by basically instantaneously allowing you to revert the change. Uh, teams are also able to experiment using feature flags by defining a control group and multiple different variations and then testing the impact that the feature has. Um, so really they become very essential to the, the whole you know, modern software development life cycle. Uh, all right, uh, then I just really wanted to quickly talk about Open Feature itself. So it's, a, it's an open, uh, we're a CNCF incubating project um, that's created an open specification for vendor agnostic, vendor agnostic feature flagging. Um, we've created many SDKs in popular languages that seamlessly integrate with the commercial solutions or in-house vendors. And then today I'd like to announce that we've uh, released a web 1.0 SDK. This has basically been a long time coming. Uh, we started with uh, server side use cases, but really we see that, that you know, obviously the web is extremely important to people. Um, and it's been uh, a long time coming to make sure that we can uh, support client side and server side feature flagging use cases with a consistent API that's completely vendor agnostic. Um, the web SDK is a foundational SDK that can be used on its own but it also lays the groundwork for framework specific implementations. So having a web uh, or a vendor neutral web SDK means that everyone can benefit from the SDK regardless of what or where your feature flags are managed. Um, and if you're interested, definitely take a look at the blog. Um, it's, it's part of the QR code that you can scan right there. Um, although basically uh, client side feature flags look uh, very similar to server side feature flags, there are some subtle differences. Um, it takes advantage of what we call the static context paradigm, and that's what I'm going to talk about in a moment. Uh, all right, uh, the static context paradigm. Uh, basically, in feature flagging, you're you're uh, commonly leveraging relevant contextual data. So, in Open Feature, we call it evaluation context. Um, on web or mobile, evaluation context typically remains consistent for the duration of the user session. Um, it allows us to perform async operations early and cache the results. Uh, in this example, uh, we're setting the user session, email, and browser in the context, and then the open SDK, or open feature SDK then bulk evaluates all the related feature flags and stores the results in the client until the context or the feature definition is modified. Uh, notice that all the context defined is unlikely to change for the duration of the session. Uh, and if any of this is interesting to you, um, we have a lot of practical examples this week. So there is uh, a session on compliance and experimentation. Um, it's called uh, Feature Management Improv with Todd Bart. It's tomorrow at 5.25. Um, and then I'll also be presenting on progressive delivery. Um, it's an observable feature rollouts with myself and Dan Dyla from the Open Telemetry Governance Committee. Um, that's on Friday at 4 o'clock. And let's see. Um, also, uh, if you're interested, we're going to be in the booth. We have the afternoon shifts in the project pavilion, so please stop by. Uh, if you're also interested, if you're around on Friday, from 11 to 12.30, we're going to be doing a contrib fest. So if you want to get your hands dirty on some code uh, and work with some of the maintainers, definitely please feel free to stop by. Uh, and there's a quick link to our website if you're interested to learn more. So thanks for your time. Appreciate it.